Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily Hanhan. I have colorful makeup and colorful language. And we're back with another episode of new makeup nonsense. Bingo! Wah, wah, wah. Still with nails. First of all, if you've been here before, welcome back. And if you are new, welcome in. Welcome to my channel. My name is Emily, and I have created this shit show of a new makeup release video smashed with a bingo game, smashed with a drinking game. I forgot to pour my drink, so we're gonna get that in a moment. But uh, if you are less familiar with new makeup nonsense bingo, that's what it is. Uh, I do this in collaboration with two dear friends and amazing creators. I started this thing with Teresa of Teresa is Dead, the sweetest pumpkin down in Florida. That was a choice, but yeah, still an amazing person. <laughs> And Audra of Audra at Home, the uh, spookiest spider in Texas. Also a choice. Is it again? America. Anyway, <laughs> trying to take a moment to bask upon my friends and how amazing they are because they always do such a lovely job of doing that in their videos. And I feel like I always just rush right through it. Anyway. This is a new makeup release video uh, that we all do at the same time, upload at the same time. Their videos will be linked in the description box. What will also be in the description box is a community playlist of creators of all sizes, of all in all locations around the world that play this game. And it's an open, open tag, open invite. So if you're watching this and you make videos and you wanna play, consider yourself invited. There are hashtags and the bingo cards and things in the description box. And when you have a link for your video, you can find me somewhere on the internet and send it to me and I will add it to the playlist. So that's kind of how it goes here. We have pictures that Audra, Teresa and I all pull from. So we show in a random order and I may or may not go through all of them in an episode. So I'm going to start by showing you everything that is possible for this week. It feels like kind of a snooze fest. So fair warning, but I'm gonna do my best and I, want to let you know, invite you in if you like colorful makeup, if you like bitches with lots of opinions, or you just like cute fat babes in general, I hope you will subscribe. And you can check out my description box for other ways to support me, like Patreon and YouTube memberships, which are fucking fantastic ways to do so. Now, while I pour myself a drink, you're going to see what is coming up possibly in this episode of New Makeup Nonsense. Bingo! Bye, bye, bye. This week, I'm drinking Mezcaya, which is a delicious combination of mezcal and mandarin juice and passion fruit and uh, some agave. And it's just like a pour and go situation. So that is much appreciated. The uh, tequila cherry limeade will be back. Unfortunately, that bottle of tequila is not going anywhere. Anyway, uh, I, I wanted to show off my makeup, at least for a moment, but we gotta put the glasses on for the game. Cheers, everyone. Uh, and let's just jump into it. Okay, so 
the first release i i feel like i've traveled back in time already let me actually pull up the 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 trend mood post so we have a new release from nyx this is the uh wonder sticks oh it does say look who's back okay okay i feel a little less terrible about everything so nyx has brought back the wonder sticks which are dual ended contour and highlight sticks they are 14 dollars and then they are also launching the dual ended blush stick for 14 dollars it looks like there are eight shades in the contour duos and then three shades in the blushes. I was like, did they not have a contour? Did they? But they, they did. It just It just came back. Um, I can't get over the lipstick applicator. I, I It bothers me. And I think it's because they like, they, they brought it back and they kept that. I, I don't love it and I Look, okay, it's not a product for me anyway. It's not, it's it's not. Um, I, I don't really contour highlight. I barely bronze and most blushes, like I'm good with my powder blushes and the couple of cream blushes that I have. I'm sure I'll be a clown and say something completely different later in the video. But there's just a part of me that like, it feels like NYX is ripping us off, 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 off. Like, I just, you remember when KKW released those contour stick things? And yeah, I know they weren't $14. They were, they were probably assuming a lot more. They were a lot more. I don't remember the price. But I don't, I, this does, I, this does nothing for me. And it feels like, really, Nick? That's all you have? That's, that's it? And it's barely new packaging, but I'm calling this same shit new packaging. No, something that feels completely new and different, but almost in a, in a way that confuses. Well, just get into the product, Emily. Danessa Myricks has added to the Yummy range uh, with a new blurring balm powder for face and eyes. It's a texture reducing, coverage boosting, blurring balm that balances oils throughout the day while remaining hydrating. There are 11 shades, one universal flashback free shade that primes, blurs, and sets, and 10 tinted shades that prime, cover, blur, and set. And uh, what I, for, first of all, packaging, Per perfect, as as per as perfect as this kind of package you could be, because it's in the like the Tatcha reminds me of the Tatcha silk canvas primer, but there's a divot space for the spatula, and the lid is like this beautiful bronze. I I think the packaging is like ah. Uh, it's really doing something for me, but the actual product, um, there's, there's something about Danessa that always, always has me intrigued. And I want to love everything from her and the brand, but I, historically have not i have i have things that i really enjoy and then i had things that i really did not enjoy so this mm, i just it's 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 here, here it's like it's too confusing for me to quite know if i trust it um I will be watching reviews out of curiosity, not even out of a desire to buy it per se, but I would say that I'm gonna possibly buy this while I'm drunk.
Maybe, perhaps, maybe. Who knows? Okay, so take a drink for ColourPop because hello ColourPop. But also, hello Winnie the Pooh collaboration. So ColourPop has a new Disney collaboration. It's for the, uh, it's Winnie the Pooh inspired. It is, has launched. Uh, it includes a palette, some highlighters, a lip gloss trio, and the most adorable thing I have seen in makeup in a long time. And there's been a lot of random cuteness lately. The Honey Pot Lip Mask and Scrub Duo. Now, those Honey Pots sold out like in less than 10 minutes with like thousands of units. Um, I if they were to come back yeah i don't actually know if i would buy I, they're cute though they come with a little honey dipper and like and i actually i don't i i think the highlighters and the the glosses are like a foamy in kind of situation but i actually get the feeling for this collab like the colors of the palette feel very much like the older like the books and not necessarily the show but there is like a disconnect with like, I feel like the honey pots are really cutesy and then the palette is like cute, but not cutesy. I don't know. I it's, but it's, but it's cute. It's not a color story that, you know, excites me kind of in any way, shape or form. So it was an easy, easy pass. Um, but like, I'm a fan of Pooh. I am short, fat, and proud of that, and so with all my might. Pooh is a fat icon. I up, down, up, down to my appetite's delight. And uh, I, I, I don't, I don't hate it. I, I quite, I actually think it's cute. Not even I don't hate it. I think it's cute. Uh, yeah, ColourPop, hi. How you doing? Okay, on the opposite end of cute or cutesy, uh, this new, it's it's an Asia, I think exclusive, it's a it's new packaging for the YSL Le Couchon Ancre de Peau. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, or not sorry, I don't know, French people, tell me. So this is a black, crinkled leather effect packaging resembling the Maison's covetable Nikki bag. Ultra light cushion, liquid formula infused with jasmine petals known for their antioxidant protection and to enable an anti-dullness effect, promising an all day luminous matte finish with flawless coverage. Look, just black leather effect cushy packaging. Sign me the fuck up. This is sexy to me. I don't I don't care about the cushion foundation inside. But but like this, this I mean I don't know how it feels. I don't know how it looks in real life. But like this is luxury makeup to me. This is what I want like fashion house makeup to be. And that's like a direct call out at like Versace and so many of these brands that do these like cheapy packaging in their fashion houses. Like like I said, this packaging could look and feel in real life like trash, but the currently. <sighs> Dear Jessica, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I am going to call it pretty embossing basic makeup because, yay, I guess the makeup is not embossed, but like that packaging is fucking stunning. But the inside, I. I don't, I don't trust. I, I don't actually want. Why don't more brands just release beautiful compacts? Answer that question for me, universe. In a move that surprises no one. Okay, maybe it surprised me a little. Pat McGrath has entered the skincare world. The newest launch is a rose, Divine Skin Rose 001 
TM, The Essence. It launches on April 29th on their site. It's the secret behind Pat's signature Divine Glow. Combines next generation rose petal technology with deeply nourishing botanical extracts to create an instant skin perfector. If it's not obvious, the emphasis is on caps, on words and caps. Um, also, not in this post, but thanks to other looky looing, uh, this this essence is eighty six dollars. I, I again not surprised, but okay. Yeah, yeah, not surprised. Um. I'm not anti bougie, fancy, expensive skincare at all. At all. I have my eyeballs on a couple of different Tatcha products. Thank you, Audra, Teresa, everyone, everyone, really. But um, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I like, actually, for the first skincare product, it totally makes sense that she's headstrong into the fucking rose world. Like, okay, we get it. Roses, pink. It's not going anywhere. I fucking get it. But like, okay, even more skincare. Welcome to the party. Poor dose of colors. Just existing on the pages of Hot Fire Makeup, looking like a color pop release. I mean, I... I want to root for all indie brands, but I have just never understood the hype and I don't see it exactly. This is not groundbreaking or game changing. You know what, you know what, ColourPop, maybe that's a dip too far. Dominique Cosmetics, yeah, is that you? I just, oh. I'd rather go take a nap than talk about this. Well, Scamlin Hill is releasing more makeup. This is a Mother's Day collab with Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics and her mom, Jaclyn X Robin, the Lux Legacy Collection. We have a $50 eyeshadow palette. That's a price point. Uh, we have a primer, pencil, setting spray, uh, setting powder, pout book, and liquid lipsticks. More shades. I don't know if they're new or not. Whatever. Uh, wait, there's two eyeshadow? How confused. What? This doesn't... Does it... Is it... Uh... I'm confused. Are there two palettes or one? The Dear Mom eyeshadow palette is $49 with a personal touch of Jaclyn Robin design the packaging exclusive on their site. I'm confused and I'm just gonna stay that way because I don't really feel like looking any further. Sorry, not sorry. And that was me looking at this palette and wondering how that's 20 different shades. I can't even make up something funny about this. It's just, it's, it's kind of sad. Like there's like a sweetness to it cause it's, it's a collab with her mom, but like, that's the point. You're supposed to feel yourself being tugged at your heartstrings. But if you're a cold, dead person with mommy and daddy issues like me, you feel nothing. And you just see bland colors, pale colors, and release is done a thousand times over, except not under the Jaclyn Hill name. So, all my trauma aside, I don't really fucking care. <laughs> Like, it, 
it's <sighs> um we still have it on the card i wasn't sure if i took it away it's it's an oversized morphe palette you know that's what you're buying just admit it to yourself it's okay but just admit it to yourself Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Speaking of talking at your heartstrings. Oh no. This was revealed right after we did the last bingo and part of me felt like I had perhaps, you know, missed it. I was gonna be blessed with just not talking about it, but the randomizer and my big mouth have teamed up to to make that not true. I whatever. I'm here to talk about Wayne Goss's new foundation. So Wayne, Do Wayne Goss has a new complexion collection that has the luxury cream foundation, the weightless powder, and then a puff applicator, the double set. It's available. Um, he here's the thing. The reason why I started this with tugging at your heartstrings is that um, this shade range is verifiable trash. Verified by who? I don't fucking care, it doesn't matter. The shade range is... Yes, I'm already getting tipsy or drunk. This shade range is trash and it is a full coverage foundation product. And the heartstrings thing is because it's always about having the funds or not having the funds or whatever, being poor. You're a brand, not a person. Stop it. Look, it's obvious who you've prioritized with this release and that was a choice. Of course, you know, my, my camera was like, it's time for you to shut up. And I was like, excuse me, I still have things to say. Wait, but I, I need to check something. Mm -hmm. The fact that, <laughs> an aside, the fact that Beautylicious front page is full of Wayne Goss and uh, Jebediah Stinkfish is Point. The reason I was actually here. Uh, okay, okay. I'm just I'm just scrolling. Okay, so the foundation is 38 and the powder is 28. The prices are not as bad as I thought they might be, and the puff is ten dollars. I see you, beauty store, Tati Beauty, all of them. Like it's fine. It's fine. I was worried that he might have come in with some like $50 to $70 foundation. I'm not saying that this excuses it, but like, yeah, I just, it's a terrible shape range. Te when four out of 12 colors look the same. Tell me you have prioritized mid-tone white folks. I really need to shut up. Also, there's definitely some noise happening in the building, but I'm not stopping to film because this is, this train doesn't stop. We just gotta keep going. Okay, um, since we, 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 we dealt with that. Um, maybe Randomizer can give us something. N uh, no, no, come on. I already talked about you. I already talked about Scarlett Johansson. 
Leave me alone. I did a whole thing and I cut in clips and everything. But like, <laughs> it's coming to Sephora. Are you fucking kidding me? Of course, of course you're coming to Sephora. The outset Scarlett Johansson skincare line is coming to Sephora with a gentle micellar antioxidant cleanser for $32, a smoothing vitamin C, I, and expressions line cream for $42, restorative, oh god, this straw is just all up in the frame, sorry. Took you long enough. <laughs> Restorative niacinamide night cream for fifty-four. Nourishing squalene daily moisturizer for forty-four. Affirming vegan collagen prep serum for forty-six. And a daily essential starter set for fifty. It's available now. The twenty-sixth. Kind of now. Soon. I'm. I'm tipsy. I'm drunk. <laughs> Whatever. Um. I don't, you were never going to get celebrity skin unless you have celebrity money. It just doesn't work that way. Their skin is not what it is because of some $50 cream. It's from thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of dermatological and plastic surgery related treatments and that's fucking okay because if i had that kind of money i'd be doing that to my face as well but you are not magically gonna have scar joe's face because you spent hundreds of dollars on her skincare line as long as you know that fucking go ahead buy some skincare from scar i can't even say it that way i can't i'm like no don't don't do that but you know, it's, a, it's another celebrity brand. And I, I know it's gonna sell because that's what celebrity brands do. I, I, I can't, I, I cannot with Stila. Tina said it recently in a video. Why is Stila still, why do they still exist? What is keeping them in business? Somebody tell me. What magical product is keeping them in business? Because holy fucking hell, they are still releasing liquid eyeshadows in 2022. Um, yeah, I gotta refill my drink before we continue because I'm drinking fast. So, I think I talked about Stila. I talked about them positively within the last like six weeks. It definitely did. I made the choice. I, I, I made some choices. Like, I might regret them. But uh, they have released more uh, liquid, liquid shadow and liquid liners. So, 10 new stay all day dual ended liquid liners. They're $30 each with two shades, two finishes, and two tip applicators from ultra thin precise lines to thick. And then there are four new shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadows for $24 each. There is a shimmering green, a shimmering vivid pink, a shimmering lavender, and a shimmering bronze. You are, if I find out that you are spending $24 on a bronze liquid eyeshadow, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna feel a lot of fucking rage. Toy. Twenty-four. Five, None of these glistas, dual chromas, or multi chromas are just shimmering. Do you want to? Do, ah. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing for me: shimmering eyeshadows aren't, or like, like liquid eyeshadows aren't inherently way longer in wear for me personally and my eyeballs. If I use a glitter glue and, a, and like a powder shadow, a shimmer, multi-chrome, duochrome, it lasts beautifully. And like liquid shadows are a fucking pain in the ass. And for those that like it, great. I just, I just 
bought some for my friend's birthday. Some of which you know about and one you don't, so I should. But, um, <laughs> they're not, like, they're, they're, they're no longer special in my book. And so the thought of spending $24 for one liquid shadow, like I said, I just spent like 18, so that was a gift. It was a gift. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting within myself. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't get the hype. I don't, I don't find them inherently easier to use. I actually find them more finicky, blah, blah, blah. I just, like Stila keeps giving us nothing and I'm trying to figure out how they're still in business. If you have money to just like let go of, you know, to put in like an offshore account, I'm happy to reach out to you, Stila. I can give you some contact information and you know, yeah, that's a possibility. But otherwise I have no fucking clue how this brand is still in business. Make it make sense. Yo, this was um a surprisingly fast edition of New Makeup Melts and Spingo, although I have not eaten in a couple of hours, so I think my brain was like, we gotta finish so you don't get so drunk on camera that you can't come back from that. Cause I know editing Emily will let some shit fly and I might have regrets. That's my credo, no regrets. You have no regrets? No. Like not even a single letter? No not. way, <laughs> not me. But uh, I managed to hit bingo in like 10, 10 products. So uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry, which I think I've already said in this video once. And yeah, my Southern accent or some weird fake Southern accent is coming out because uh, I got drunk real fast. I need to get myself off of camera and go put some food in my body. Cause I'm a 37 year old woman and uh, I may have made some regretful choices in my day. So if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy the shit show that is Emily, or if you like colorful makeup or cute fat bitches or cute fat bitches, cute fat bitches, whatever, you can subscribe. Thank you so much to my patrons and my YouTube members. Uh, if you happen to see this any earlier than Monday, you are welcome. But also, more importantly, thank you because I would not be doing this thing called making YouTube videos without you. The thing that I always say, the thing that holds true is Make sure you treat yourself better today than you did yesterday because you are worth it. No matter how drunk or unruly you are right now, you are still worth it. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again real soon. Bye, friends. Wow.